I really hope Sam Raimi comes back for Multiverse of Madness. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if you see my profile for my YouTube channel, it's literally a Doctor Strange looking at like galaxies and stuff. And Doctor Strange is literally my favorite MCU hero. And Sam Raimi is my favorite director of all time. So naturally, when I heard that my favorite director was going to be directing my favorite MCU hero, I was excited. And for me personally, I was not disappointed. I loved Multiverse of Madness when I watched it a couple of months ago. Sam Raimi's direction style was exactly what Doctor Strange needed. I love a Marvel movie that actually has color and not stale, unlike the Russo Brothers stuff. That's not a shot towards them, but their movies do look pretty stale. And once again, I think Marvel should start uh, trusting their directors a bit more. Unless, and it feels like Marvel only gives certain directors like some type of creative control when they're already established, you know what I mean? Like John Watts before the Spider-Man movies, I think he was like an indie filmmaker, so he wasn't that established. And you can see that, you know, the Spider-Man movies are, once again, kind of have that Russo Brothers like pop to them. Well, not even pop, they're just like really gray looking, right? But Taika Waititi, who was pretty established before he decided to to do Thor, he got more creative freedom. Even Chloe Zhao, when she did Eternals, she got some type of creative freedom. Sam Raimi definitely got a lot of it and you saw that for the most part. I do think that maybe there were some creative choices that Marvel and Sam Raimi and the people making Multiverse of Madness had disagreements about, but I think for the most part, whatever Sam Raimi wanted to be on screen was on screen. Before I talk about my final thoughts, I just want to say one more thing. When Multiverse of Madness did come out, it felt like a lot of MCU fans were pretty mixed on it or divided on it, I guess you could say. And that's mostly because all the wild theories that were out during that time, like Ghost Rider showing up and Hugh Jackman coming back and Tobey Maguire returning. People were even saying Tom Cruise was going to be Iron Man during that time. And when all we got was John Krasinski as Reed Richards, it was kind of disappointing. I was still excited for John Krasinski to show up in the movie, but that was really the only big cameo. And obviously Patrick Stewart coming back as well. But none of the cameos made me jump out of my seat. But the movie itself, in my opinion, I thought was really great. But I do think, you know, Wanda's character kind of needed some work for, for certain scenes. But I think as MCU fans, I understand Multiverse of Madness was a very different movie and direction style than we're used to, but I think that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Also, another problem I had with Multiverse of Madness was uh, Doctor Strange's character arc. There's really nothing there except him asking whether or not he's happy to himself and Wong. Also, America Chavez's character, I heard a lot of people say she's great. For me personally, I wouldn't say America Chavez is a horrible character, but she, she was all right for me. Also, I'm not a Hollywood reporter or anything, but like when your movie makes over $900 million, it's, it would be pretty hard not to bring the director who made that movie back. So if they do announce Sam Raimi coming back as the director for Doctor Strange 3, I'm guessing it would have to be at D23. And I would predict that Doctor Strange 3 will probably come out during phase six.